sample size is 175. Required, test at a 5% level of significance whether there is a significant difference in the monthly sale, I mean sales of the two outlets. End of question. Now, this again is uh, a two population uh, kind of a question where we need to look at the, whether there is some significant difference. And in this case, we are going to use, depending on the sample size, we are going to use now the normal distribution, Z, not T, because T is used when the sample size is less than 30. This one is already more than, you can see it is 200 and 175. So we are going to use a Z. So we are going to have our, um, our calculation this way. This is part B. We are going to first of all to set a hypothesis that we have uh, the null and we have uh, the alternative. The population mean 1 should equal population mean 2, but the alternative is that should not equal, is not the same as mean 2. And looking at whether what you're being asked, whether there is a significant difference in there. That tells you that uh, is either there is no or there is. But if the question was asking us whether, whether the monthly sales for outlet A is more than outlet B, at that time we would have set our alternative that population mean 1 is more than mean 2. This now would have been one-tailed because it is directional. But now because I was asking us whether there is or not, then that becomes now non-directional because if there is, we don't know whether it is uh, the outlet A being more than outlet B or vice versa. That means it's non-directional. That's now two-tailed in short. Now, from there, we go to test hypothesis. We have test hypothesis. No, test statistics, sorry. Test statistics. Test statistic. So we need to know uh, the value of Z calculated because this time you're using Z. So our Z shall be the sample mean 1 minus sample mean 2. We divide by the standard error which is given by the square root of square root of we are going to have the s1 squared divided by n1 plus s2 squared divided by n2 meaning we are going to use the variance divided by n and then you get the variance divided by n2, meaning we are going to get the total variance. Then by means of square rooting, we get an average. Remember, square rooting is a way of getting a mean. And what we have inside should be a variance. It cannot be a star deviation and you want to square root. No, it must be a variance for you to square root. And therefore, you're going to take the first and the second, the two of them now, being the total variance, we square root, we get average. That's going to be the standard error. So now this is now for the formula for the population, uh, for the uh, large samples, large samples. So let's uh, work it out. So this will be Z equals to, the mean 1 is 795, 795 minus 810, divided by the square root of, this is uh, 50 squared divided by 200 plus 70 squared divided by 175. So which will give us, if you work out using the calculator, we'll find on the numerator, of course is 795 minus 810. This is negative 15. Negative 15. Then the other side one we have 50 squared divided by 200 equal sign then plus in bracket 
70 squared divided by 175 uh, that is going to be 40.5 the square root of it you get a uh, 6.36 that now finally our z is negative so it is um, actually 15 divided by 6.36 and this will get uh, actually 2.3536. So the Z calculated is negative 2.36. Then you come to the Z table. This is a Z table. At um, We have been told to use what percentage? At 5% SL. At 5% SL. And this is a totaled. Now, when it's two-tailed, you must remember for Z, how do you get the probability? The probability for Z is always confidence level divided by two, if it's two-tailed. If it is one-tailed, then of course it's just uh, CL, the way it is. But for two-tailed, you divide this by two. Uh, you get now, the, remember this is significance level, significance level. But you want the confidence level. So confidence level is the opposite to 0 0.95 divided by two. And this actually is 0 0.4. 75 475 now if you read this from the table for sure z from the table is always 1.96 because if you are to use this table this is normal distribution table normal distribution table you are supposed to go to the table, inside the table, inside the table where you have the probability because outside is Z, critical value. But inside the table is when you have uh, our probability. You look for 0 0.475. And for this one is normally categorical, it's clear that you'll find it somewhere, 0 0.475. 0 0.475 is clear. If you read now on the sides, it is 1.9 on the side there. And then up there, it is uh, actually... Uh, seven so that, that no six it is six exactly so it is 1.96 and that's what they have here it is no more it is uh, actually uh, very conspicuous the 0 0.75 is conspicuous 0. Point, um, let's say four five 0. Uh, four nine so those are figures which are or either uh, four nine five those are very conspicuous figures and you should know uh, outright what uh, they represent so now we have z is one point that is now Z uh, table, and you have the Z calculated is negative 2.36. Now, we normally say that um, uh, our if Z calculated is greater than Z table, we normally say reject HO and vice versa. That is our rule. If Z calculated is greater than Z table, of course, reject HO. And accept H1. So in our case, let's see. Our Z calculated, so therefore, Z calculated of uh, 2.36. I told you that um, you ignore the negative sign. You let it be positive. When it's positive, is better than when it's negative. So 2.36 is greater already than uh, the Z table of 1.96. Therefore, reject ho and accept h1 that there is significant difference in the mean cells of the two in the mean cells is it the, these are two depots, mean sales of um, outlets in the two outlets. Remember, we are saying that um, there is difference because we are accepting this one, that uh, the, the two are not equal. If not equal, that means we don't know which one at the moment is more than the other, but we are sure that there is some difference. They are not the same, and that's how... 
uh, we make our conclusion. Otherwise, if the calculated value would have been lesser, then of course would have accepted and said that there is no difference. They are having same. There is no significant difference of that. And that's all about um, uh, that part. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to get yourself a copy of our professionally prepared study text and revision partners. Visit our shop along Tomboya Street, Pioneer House, 3rd floor, opposite fire station.